Hi, it's Jess here from nigest.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. So it's another um, episode in my uh, altered book. Um, I think I may have already done a, a flick through of this. I'm not sure because um, I'm filming different um, parts of this um, and I'm doing bits that are sort of out of out of sync with, with other things. So uh, you would have seen me do this pocket page and of course it needed a tag. So in this video, I'm showing you how I make these Edith Holden themed tags, which are backed on to packaging. So some really nice packaging that I got with um, some tonic water. And I thought that that was just such a lovely, um, a lovely cardboard effect and I thought that would go brilliantly so um, yeah so I've made two tags one for that page and had it marked but now I can't see it and one for uh, that page there so uh, yeah stay tuned and I will show you how I made them so I chose my uh, paper I wanted some that was um, had script on it and um, I've got a fussy cut there uh, from another page I cut it out using my scan and cut and uh, so now I'm just sort of trimming it down to the size that that I want taking off some of that white space which is really sort of yellowy cream um, and uh, so that I'm just left with a nice bit of uh, writing there so just check in that it is the right height and it is a little bit too tall so I'm going to trim a little bit more off um, and I'm just sort of looking at it proportionately whether or not it's a good size for a tag and then that's my bit of chipboard that I made so that um, I've got the sort of diagonal at the top tag shape um, that I like so um, I'm just laying it on there to to cut it off. Just saves a little bit of time. I've already done that. I've got some on um, like loyalty plastic loyalty cards as well. So just having a little play with seeing how that looks. That butterfly is not an Edith Holding butterfly. It's one that I got off Tinterweb, but um, I like it. And these are some stamped words that I made uh, in a previous video. And I'm just sort of picking out what I want. And that says love stories, which I quite like. And I uh, thought it would be good. Ed and I have just had an anniversary, 34 years. So talk about love stories. <laughs> so now I am just going to ink round. Um, I like to add a little bit of ink blending to Edith Holding Pages. So I do find them quite yellow. Um, and, uh, and then I need to ink round the edges, of course. Uh, I'm using soft suede for that, stamping up colour, which matches the writing really, really well. So I, I like I like it. And, um, and I'm going to uh, not use the sponge bit on that fussy cut, just using the, the blending brush there to get the edges of that done, because it's too awkward to um, try and do it with the sponge. And the same with my cut out butterfly there also cut out on my scan and cut and uh, I cut that without a margin I quite like it without a margin to be fair but the flower I did with a bit of a margin um, so uh, so so yeah well, something came up there on my map book that's a little check out I oh, don't want that so now I'm looking and I'm getting a little bit of cheese cloth there gonna grunge it up a little bit more with the ink and I'm going to put that behind that long flower just so it's got a little bit, helps it stand out a little bit against the script on the background. It doesn't cover it up too much. So, uh, so yeah, liking that. Um, so uh, I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to use that die cut. I die cut that out of page, but I'm not using it. Not using it. So uh, just seeing, yeah. I like how that looks on the page so we can get it sort of stuck down now um, so I'm going to stick the uh, cheesecloth down with a bit of glue stick 
kind of holds it nicely it's only light and then of course I am gluing things on top so um, it will hold in place quite well so uh, now it's just a matter of sticking sticking the rest on um, I'm using my little uh, fine tooth fine tooth fine tip uh, glue bottle there want to get right to the edges but don't want to put like loads of glue on and then I'm just going to spread it with my silicon spreader to make sure that all the edges are covered so that there's no riding up with it and then we can stick that in place We've got a little bit of wigglage if we wish to move it which I do <laughs> and um, so I get it right where I want it and then I'll take my dry baby wipe to um, mop up any little bit of oozing and as I moved it there will be a slight bit of glue um, on it and I'm just wiping it off that um, non-stick mat I've got which actually needs a really good clean so yeah just adding a little bit there at the bottom where I haven't quite put enough on so now I'm just sticking and changing my glue for some reason sticking on the uh, butterfly and, and the words but uh, I don't know if you like me I've got I've got multitude of of glues that I like for different things I've no idea why I decided to change my mind there um, but uh, hey -ho, I did and that's that so um, so that's that bit done and uh, and now I am gonna uh, get this cardboard packaging so this was from some tonic that I bought actually the day I filmed this I bought it and I was just getting it ready for the recycling bin when I noticed what a lovely colour it was and I thought oh, that'd be nice for the back side of a tag or a journaling card and it's got this really cute circle in it which I thought oh, I could use that for something uh, but not today so having um, cut it on my guillotine I know that the edges are all perfectly straight and it's a nice right angle so whilst I can glue this right up to the corner so I only have to trim two sides because that is going to be a perfect 90 degree angle there so just using my that's an old sky card that to um, spread the glue out nicely popping up any oozing and then with my long scissors I can cut it down I um I mean, usually I usually get the guillotine out again to be fair but I seem to have cut that one quite well. Uh rested the blade against the Edith Holden book and it's quite a thick uh page so it kinda worked. So just inking around using my blush there and then I'm getting my favourite script stamp which is sadly retired now. Um and then just using my finger to press it in um, different places so you just get a little bit of the stamped image not not masses and I, I like that effect um, I know lots of people hold them in the hands and um, that would work too but um, I like doing it that way because I find it de-sticks the back if you're, if you're holding it so now we need a little bit for the tab at the top so that is crumb cake and uh, not crumb cake it's soft sprayed it matches one of the words and the ink I use so that is one and a half inches by three quarter of an inch and then folded in half so you end up with two three quarter of inch squares um, so uh, quite like that bit of ink in bit of stamping and um, and then it's ready to to put on and um, I uh, was going to put an eyelet through it but I decided in the end to stick it with a bit of it popping up the top um, so it's like a it's like a pull it's like a tab a square tab rather than um, having to put um, any ribbon in it so there we have it finished and that pops nicely into that page and um, that's a nice tag so we've got another Edith Holden pocket here that one there with the dragonfly and um, so that needs tag so I'm just looking through some pages there pick out that page because those berries um, in the top there match the um, dragonfly really well so uh, yeah 
that's why I, I went for that. And uh, so I'm just measuring it so that it is the same size as the other tag. And I am now just going to repeat the, the whole process. So I'm doing it in exactly the same way um, to make this tag. I'm just decorating it um, differently. But um, yeah, there's me um, going around and doing um, exactly what I did before. It's plainer than the other one. There's no writing on it. So I'm adding that um, die cut image that I cut out of the, um, the text. Um, so that I'm putting text on it um, and um, finding some other things. I've got a leaf there and a faux stamp um, and uh, yeah, quite like how they look um, and, uh, and then I'll pick out some more words there so it's got a word on it uh, and I'll pick out magical moments um, and uh, yeah, so I quite like that so that just needs all sticking down, inking up, adding a little bit of cheesecloth, of course, um, and uh, and that all that that that'll be good. That'll be good. So um, so yeah. So now I'm just sticking it all down together, and um, and we will nearly be uh, finished. So. Uh, I have really enjoyed making uh, this altered book. Um, almost finished it now, and um, I uh, just sort of had to go off and make a couple of extra tags. Most of it has been filmed with ephemera that I'd already made, tags and journaling cards that were already ready to go. Um, there's just a, a, these couple of tags that I've had to make, sort of especially for it. Um, so um, it hasn't actually taken very long so I hope everybody's enjoyed um, the process uh, it's the first one that I finished um, I have started a couple of um, altered books and I've got one that I use um, sort of as an art journal so it's not complete so this is going to be the first one that I've actually uh, completed and um, I, I quite like I really well I really like how it's how it's turned out and how quite quick it was um, I didn't think too much about it, and um, the um, I might not use um, the type of book that I used for this one again, because um, um, I have had to do a couple of repair jobs on some of the um, pages, which I will have told you as I was doing it. So um, uh, yeah, I might think a bit more carefully about the, the book. So on this one, I am doing um, an eyelet. So uh, I'm picking out um, the eyelet I want and um, I'm going to use my cropper dial. So it is a three quarter, uh, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, it's three quarters of an inch. So I'm setting my cropper dial there to three eighths of an inch, uh, which is half of that so that I know that it's going to go in the middle and be like the dead centre of that square. Um, and, uh, which is why I choose to use that size because it makes it easy to do. So there we are. And now I need to uh, clearly squeeze a bit harder, um, get um, the ribbon for it. So I'm going to use another stamping up ribbon that has retired. Um, it's um, some, um, oh, I'm just checking how it looks, some um, uh, diamond weave sort of crocheted ribbon. Really like it. I mean, there's plenty of crocheted ribbons out there. I really like the look of um, crocheted ribbon. I mean, um, and I've got uh, quite a few sort of different ones. Um, and, uh, and then I like putting a little bit of twine uh, around it. So I'm just knotting this twine. Sometimes I bow it, but I'm just knotting this one. Um, and I think it gives it a nice little effect. And that is it ready and done so there they are both finished and i'm really pleased with how they turned out and they will go lovely in the book i love how those colors go with the dragonfly i did deliberate about which side of the of this sheet there was lovely flowers on the other side i chose but i'm glad i went with the dragonfly now 
and I love how that looks there and I love the way this fussy cut that I did on my scan and cut looks here and I've got some matching green and um, yeah so hope you liked that um, I will um, link down below to the inks um, just looking actually um, I did I used a lot of um, a lot of things that aren't available anymore um, the dies to cut this out is still available as is that punch magical moments i think that comes from a stamp and set that's still available i can't remember um and obviously the inks and things but um this scripty is now sadly um retired but we have other script ones you might have some yourself okay so uh don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, I'll be back soon with another video. Okay, bye for now.